Hello guys, welcome to Online Wave Tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor version 3 HMV tutorial for beginners. This is our part 6. From this video session guys, we are going to create a module that is sign up module. Inside this module, we are going to make a sign up form. We will make some bootstrap logics as well as we will implement some validation and after implementing all these things actually we will connect and save to our database. So this is our first video for sign up modules. So inside this we are going to create only layout. If I back to code editor. Now inside this, this is the application so far we are learning. Now inside this module section, I am to create a folder and that folder is something called sign up press enter. Now inside this sign up, I am to create two more folders, one for the controllers, press enter, second let's say for the views and in upcoming videos we will work on the models as well. So I am to create one more folder and something models. Now inside this sign up module, we have now three different folders. Now I am to create our first controller inside this sign up module and this is signup.php now inside this controller firstly let's define about the class so class signup let's say extends this is something called my controller now first thing first I am to make our constructor function first so construct and construct. So finally we have done that. Now inside this sign up module the first method we are going to make our let's say that for the sign up layout page. Now let's say that public function and let's say user layout. Now this method basically makes a layout which contains a form and that form is basically used to restore users. Now inside this method, I am to call a view file. So let's say this, load view and inside this, this is our sign up module. Now inside this sign up module, we have views folder. So inside views folder, I am to create let's say user register layout dot php. So dot php we are not going to actually mention inside this file name. So copy this file name, go to views folder, create a new file and let's say user register layout dot php. Now inside this file, actually we have to make our registration form. So for the registration view layout, actually we are going to use called the bootstrap. Now here is the w3schools.com bootstrap. Now inside this, if I scroll down, inside bootstrap forms, this is the bootstrap form actually we are going to use and something known as bootstrap vertical form. So scroll down, if you click on try it yourself, then this will be open. Now I am going to copy all the codes back to our editor and pasting all the codes inside this view file. Now if I save all these changes and let's change something here. Let's say user registration. Now here are the links of our bootstrap file and the JavaScript plugin files. Scroll down. Let's say that the user registration and this is for the H4 tag. Now inside this registration form, I'm going to remove this action and for now, let's say JavaScript and void. I have specified about the void link. Now inside this registration form, I'm going to use firstly, let's say username, something the name, let's say txt name copy this input type text id should be txt name input should be txt name and placeholder something let's say enter name here now this is the first text box for the user registration and to remove these two fields from here 
and instead of instead of btn default i am to use let's say btn success now copy the first div pasting right here and the second i am to use for the email address so let's say email and it should be email let's say that txt email copy this pasting it here pasting it here and for the placeholder let's say enter email now again copy that pasting it here and this time i am to take the mobile number of the user so let's say txt mobile and it should be number and the mean value should be 0 or let's say 1 if i copy this txt mobile pasting it here and pasting it here this time let's say enter mobile and i think that the name attribute has been attached two times so just remove the last and i'm going to remove all the name attributes the second name attributes from all these elements and this is enter mobile and finally i'm going to add one more element this is enter mobile and one more element something known as designation type so let's say that select designation and this is txt let's say designation and it should not be input type number it should be select now inside this select i'm going to specify a class and that class is something known as form control one for the name attribute so copy this pasting it here now inside this select i'm going to specify the option parameters and this should not be txt this should be dd means drop down now inside this option let's say that choose designation and the value let's say empty value again if i copy and paste these option elements and let's say that here let's say web designer and again let's say web developer here let's say web underscore designer here let's say web underscore developer or instead of underscore just remove that now two designation we have specified let's say that tester and finally one for the BA so just copy and pasting it here now all we have done now one more attribute actually I'm going to attach with all these elements called required field because I want that while registration user has to enter all the informations what actually we are taking inside these input type text boxes or inside this drop down now if we scroll to the top now all we have done now now we are using a container so inside this container actually this form will take the full width so I am going to specify class so let's say call sm 12 and inside this I am to make one more div with the class let's say class call sm and this time 8 now inside this if I copy this form tag cut this or before cutting this form tag alone actually I need to take this h4 tag as well so copy all the contents and pasting inside this call as I am 8 now if I save all these changes after saving changes next we have to make our route for that so we have two options to make or embed our route firstly either we can create our route inside this config folder and inside this config folder here is the file called routes.php so by the help of this file actually we can create our custom route of the signup module and we can open our layout page 
but I'm not going to use this config folder. I'm going to create one more folder inside this sign up module and that folder is something known as config folder. Remember all the things actually we can do like creating libraries, creating helpers, creating hooks and any of the operations at the core folder we can make a individual app separate folder inside modules folder and inside any specific module we can implement all the functionalities what actually we can do without modules. So I think that actually I have created a config file so I'm going to delete that because actually we need to create a folder. So create a folder and this is config. Now inside this config folder we have to make called routes.php. All these folders what we can see here called config, go, helpers, hooks, libraries, models, all these folders what we have at the root we can create on the individual module. We can just understand that the modules are just like the plugins what we have seen or what we can see inside any WordPress setup. Plugins are the independent modules which basically extend the functionality of site. So it is same as the modules. These are the independent modules. In, in these modules actually we can create our own libraries, helpers, models, views and controllers and just we can bind with the core application with code igniter and extend the functionality. Now inside this routes file I am to create a route. So let's route this is sign up and inside this let's say user this will open called the sign up this is our module and inside this module it will open the method something called user underscore layout so if i save all these changes now we have to open this route inside our browser so if i copy this route back to browser and if I go here and let's say index.php and if I paste this route just press enter and we have error 404 page not found it means that the requested route actually didn't work here so back to our code editor now this is the route actually we have developed and here is the sign up module and this sign up module resides in this sign up folder and actually I think that we have to rename this folder as not sync up this is sign up if I press enter successfully now we have renamed that so again back to browser reload this page now our route actually work but again this time actually the folder we have attached for the view file didn't work again so back to editor and this is again not sync up this is sign up so save all these changes now back to browser reload this page and as we can see that our registration form is now working as we have seen that this is the separate route actually we have made for this module if I want to make as a global so just we have to copy this route and paste inside this route.php file of this config folder now we have a registration form this time if I press submit this is HTML validation so in the next video we will implement about the validate.mean.js library plugin file by the help of that plugin we are going to implement our validations using jQuery and also we will save all these data to our database table so also we have to make a table for that so again back to our code editor Let's make one more change inside this layout and inside this layout as we can see that this is our header section. So I want that this header section should be a separate part. So how can we make a separation? Back to our sign up module, views folder and I am to create a folder and something let's say include. Now this is inside this include folder I am to create a file and let's say load styles.php and also I am to create for the scripts file so load 
analyst says scripts dot php now inside these two files i'm going to separate our jquery as well as css files so let's say that this these are the two script tags i'm going to cut from the header go at the footer and i'm going to paste all those two files at the footer section now let's say that firstly I am going to load or separate our CSS section by using so I am going to cut all these things from here cut this go to our load styles and pasting all the contents here now we have to call this file right here inside this header section so let's say php this load view and inside this view Firstly, we have to write our module name. Next, we have to go inside includes folder. This is our include folder and we have to load our load styles. Now, all we have done now, if I copy again the syntax, go at the footer, pasting it here and this time load, let's say scripts. Now, again, if I cut these script tag form here go to this file and paste all the contents here back to browser reload this page and as we can see that successfully the same output has been executed what we have seen before so successfully guys inside this video we had created a module called sign up and inside this we have made our registration layout in the next video we will implement some validation we will make one database table and save all the data by the help of model to our database table so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day